Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president continued to push for middle class tax cuts, spoke with both the AAPD summer interns with disabilities and with the White House summer interns of 2012, signed the Honoring America's Veterans and Caring for Camp Lejeune Families Act, and convened his rural council to discuss ways to ease the current burden of drought. It's August 3rd to August 9th, or we have a moral field, sacred duty. We have a duty. moral sacred duty uh, towards our men and women in uniform. They protect our freedom, and it's our obligation to do right by them. On Friday, the president invited a group of Americans who had written into WhiteHouse.gov to share their reasons for why it's so important for Congress to extend tax cuts for the middle class. The people standing behind me should not have to pay more just so the wealthiest Americans can pay less. That's not just top-down economics, that's upside-down economics. We say we all agree on extending tax cuts for middle-class families. The House says it agrees. The Senate has already shown that it agrees. And I certainly agree. So let's at least work on what we agree on. Let's keep taxes low for 98 percent of Americans. Let's keep taxes low for the 97 percent of small business owners. If Congress sends me a clean bill extending the tax cuts on the first $250,000 of every family's income, I will sign it right away. And I, I will sign it right away. On Monday, the president dropped by a discussion in the Roosevelt Room where participants in the American Association of People with Disabilities Summer Internship Program were giving their perspective on the future of disability rights and disability policy. What I think needs to happen is a change of mindset, right? That disability is a part of the beauty of the diversity of this country. One of the issues that we're facing as advocates with developmental disabilities is that people often overlook us when they're trying to find allies in policy making. But then when it comes to disability, people tend to forget that it's the people with disabilities that have the most authentic perspective and the best understanding of how things will influence us. I care deeply about this. I think we have made progress. I think we can make more. Uh, all of you have terrific suggestions. I'm going to tell you, uh, I think maybe uh, one of the most powerful suggestions uh, was, was Zoe's point, which is self-advocacy. You guys don't need anybody feeling sorry for you. What you need is people listening to you and making sure that every time we make decisions that have potential impact on your lives, that you're heard. Meanwhile, H.R. 1627 had arrived at the White House and was accepted on behalf of the President by the Office of the Executive Clerk, where it was processed and could then make its way to the Oval Office to be signed into law. This particular legislation, the Honoring America's Veterans and Caring for Camp Lejeune Families Act of 2012, provides additional health care, housing, and educational services to veterans and their families. This bill uh, ends a decade-long struggle uh, for those who serve at Camp Lejeune. Some of the veterans and their families who were based in Camp Lejeune uh, in the years when the water was contaminated will now have access to expanded medical care. With that, I'm going to sign the bill. There you go. Congratulations, everybody. Good work. The president then addressed the Thank tragedy of the shootings that had taken place on Sunday in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. In this country, uh, regardless of what we look like, where we come from, uh, who we worship, we are all one people, and we look after one another, and we respect one another. On Tuesday, the president visited with the 147 White House summer interns and D.C. scholars and took some of their questions. Like you had to give up so much to take the position that you've taken. Do you ever think about how much you had to give up? The, the most important thing is figuring out what it is that is really important to you. What do you, what do you really care about? And then you should anticipate that you'll have to make some sacrifices. So much. Later, the president convened a meeting of the White House Rural Council and focused on a coordinated response to the historic drought conditions that are affecting communities all across rural America. I think all of you are aware that we are seeing devastating drought uh, throughout the country. Uh, it is a historic drought and it's having a profound impact on farmers and ranchers. We've already designated over 1,500 counties across 32 states as disaster areas, which gives qualified farmers access to low-interest emergency loans. Today, 
the Department of Agriculture is announcing an additional $30 million to get more water to livestock and restore land impacted by drought. Obviously, Congress has a role here. Congress needs to pass a farm bill uh, that will not only provide important disaster relief tools, but also make necessary reforms and give farmers the certainty that they deserve. And now's the time for us to come together and go ahead and get this done. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. Thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. Yeah, you know, the uh, pizza. <laughs> Uh, if my cable's broke. <laughs>